Ah, ah, ah. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, this thing. Hi, it's me, Invoice. I'm a VTuber. Today we are going to do Castle Explained, okay? Castle Explained. Uh, because I really love the video of Ishin to you, okay? So we have this video which is red flags, and it's like, oh, shit. I know that I need to learn about this. <laughs> I mean, I've been suffering people who has to me, tell me, oh yeah, this has so many red flags and it's like, oh shit, I didn't notice any of them. So probably this guy is going to teach me. Or not. <laughs> who knows? It's internet, it's, 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 no, it's just explained. In dating and relationships, a red flag is a small thing you notice in someone else's behavior that's symptomatic of a bigger problem. The yeah. that oftentimes a red flag can be hard to pick up on because red flags aren't only what someone does. Oh, no, okay, you do too do. And some red flags are certainly worse than others, so I want to start with the oh. more mild ones and move up from there. Assuming you start with a blank white flag, at the lowest level we have red and white flags. Which okay. are just small quirks or inconsistencies that aren't bad, just kind of weird. Things like okay. they don't lift the yogurt off the lid, they use Internet Explorer, they no. hold the door open for you as soon as they see you park your car, or they're apologetic even if something is your fault. Basically, oh. if it can be explained with, oh, Canadian, okay. then it's probably in this oh. category. So let's get started no! on the serious stuff. Low tier red flags. A low tier red flag is something that's probably bad, but not necessarily it's a nice complete deal breaker. They don't laugh at your jokes. Um, I thought um, this was just normal, but they say if a girl doesn't laugh at your jokes, she probably isn't very compatible with you. If oh, a girl is true. really into you though, she'll likely laugh at all your jokes, even if they're not very good. Yeah. They have a secretive past. Uh, it depends idea. a lot on how communicative the person is. Uh, they might just be anxious about sharing personal details, but if they have to no honest, problem talking about anything and everything except their past, it's either something oh. they don't want you to know, which is pretty bad, or they're a Russian class. spy, which is pretty <laughs> bad. Uh, putting fun. you on a pedestal, that is to say they think you're way out of their league. This one's obviously more common for guys to do to girls, but yeah. it can go the other way it's around true. too. Imagine I was in bed with a girl. Just gonna... Let that it's gonna sink watch. in. Um, okay. I oh. I was in bed with a girl, and she whispered, "Oh my god!" The casually explained. Tell me again about how many subscribers you have. Of course, that would be a huge turn on, and I oh. have dreams about that. But it's probably going to be a pretty one-sided relationship. <laughs> Think of how celebrities almost always date each other, even though they could be with any fan they wanted. Oh. <clears throat> uh, they have the same last name as you. That's a bad sign. That's about sign. Oh in shit! Most places. Most All right, mid-tier red flags. Life. These are a bit more serious and are usually harder to overcome or talk about. Tread very carefully if you notice any of these. They're a stripper. Uh, on paper, mm. it might sound well and good, but that when it inevitably bad. doesn't work out, you'll realize that from now on, you can only pay for things by card. Oh. Worth it. They don't have any independence. Uh, that is to say, oh. if they have no interests or hobbies or ambitions in their life. It's so likely they'll try to involve themselves in every moment of yours. What you do? They'll eventually weigh you down and get in the way of your goals. Kind of oh. like Reddit. Uh, they trash talk their ex a lot early in the relationship. Oh. This is usually an indicator they're still emotionally invested in their previous partner, and it can be very yeah. difficult to build a new relationship from the rubble of an old one. There's actually yes, a red flag. I noticed that. It's uh, interesting. Using uh, ultimatums. Shit. <laughs> These are saying things like, you have to do X or I'm going to do Y. You have to watch out though, because that's like me saying, oh. if you don't subscribe, I'm not going to be your friend, which I would no. never say. Only think. All right, that next happens is in my high house. tier red flags. These are the ones that are complete oh, shit. deal breakers and are pretty much always non-negotiable. They're married, unless you're into that. Uh, no. They're already pregnant. Shit. Unless you're into that. Uh, they're under 18. This isn't just a red flag, it's a felony, but Definitely. you find yourself attracted to girls who are still in high school. Great way to get over that is to talk to one of them. <laughs> they treat wait staff poorly. I think being oh. mean to other people in general is a good sign of how they're going to treat you in the future. And I know that'd be hard to deal with because my self-esteem is based on what other people think of me. Oh. Uh, you don't like their friends. People tend to be friends with people similar to them, and if someone surrounds themselves with unsavory individuals, oh, it's going to be the same. Person. Now, after a long time, a eventually you might find that after going on date after date or going through relationship after relationship, even just after meeting a lot of new people, <laughs> you start to think, it really seems like pretty much everyone I meet has something wrong with them. Everyone they has get something me, wrong. They always have problems that they don't think are problems. I, I can't connect with them at all. And 
Why can't Don't I find someone them. who's not such a disaster? This is the maximum tier red flag. It's actually just you. You yeah. sound pretty bad. But oh, in a way, you're the red flag. Realizing that you might be a bit more responsible than you previously thought is the first step to becoming a more wholesome person True. and having better relationships with other people. If you know this is for you. This video with you now is the moment where you reflect on whether they thought you'd find it funny and interesting <laughs> or if they're trying to passive aggressively tell you something. Oh. Oh, 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 okay, that, 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 that was suspected, but true. <laughs> Imagine, okay, now I have video to show to a friend who is fucking maximum uh, red flags. <laughs> because this is the best passive aggressive way to tell him, oh, yeah, you have too many red flags, you, you should check it out. <laughs> Perhaps you find yourself in this video. I will say the same, to be honest. <laughs> Oh shit, I know I feel bad. Yeah. Sometimes the red flags it not and it's not another person, it's you. And that's actually true. And I have to say that that's that's the that's the gospel truth. If something you think you have the red flags, oh yeah, these people is no 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 no. Like for example you swipe too much on oh, no on Tinder perhaps is that or you have too many standards and you are not like able to get away from them. So you're closing your own door, or really the people that are trying in Tinder right now is not the best for you to stay. Go to Rwanda. I mean, what? <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Uh, what to say is that uh, sometimes uh, red flags are invisible, and sometimes other people can notice the red flags. But when you notice the red flags, it's really, really, really noticeable. And the best way is to make sure you can fix those. And if you cannot fix those, don't, don't, don't just play around them if they hurt you. Really, it's it's going not to be nice. My mom, I see so many red flags on my dad that my mom doesn't even try to, to understand. And instead of saying, yeah, no, he has a problem, we should fix it. No, he sees like, oh, just he's like that. Let's let him be. Let him cook. Yeah, but. Uh, every time you have a trouble, it's going to be like a snowball. Sometimes it's a snowball too much, and when it snowballs too much, it's going to be really, really bad for you and your people surrounding you. So yeah, don't fucking wreck with that. Do it better. And sometimes there's someone better for you. That like, don't stick with someone just because they like you. Perhaps in the future, there's someone who actually likes you, and it's much better. That's something I learned in the bad way, but it's the best way. Okay, okay. So, um, see you next video. Bye, adiósito. Oh, I drunk too bit, too much beer. <laughs>